we will be performing a kinetic stretch for hip external rotation from the 90-90 base position. So you progressed out of your pails and rails, into your pass range holds, pass range liftoffs, you made it more dynamic with the hovers, and then we finish off with the end range rotations. So the kinetic stretch is just the next step along that continuum where it's really gonna add complexity from both ends of the joint. Our pails, our, our progressive tissue, is gonna be the tissue that drives us out, and our rails tissue, the regressive tissue, will be the tissue that pulls us in. So that's really gonna be where that feeling of the pails tissue and the rails tissue really come together, as now we're training both ends of the joint in one motion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set ourselves up in a 90-90 base position. You're gonna have 90 degree on the front leg, 90 degree on the back leg. I'll have a nice tall chest. I'm gonna use my regressive tissue to act like it's gonna pull me in. So it's as if I was gonna to try to lift this leg off the floor, so as if I was gonna do this here, but it's like I glued my leg from the shin all the way up to my knee, down on the floor. So as I try to pull up, my leg's glued to the floor and it's this tissue, right, the regressive tissue, the tissue that's shortening, that is gonna pull me deeper into that stretch. You can have your hands here, have your hands out to the side. If you're really mobile, you can grab them overhead, even overhead, or you can just have your hands in the floor. What we're trying to do is allow us to have the best balance possible, but not sacrifice the motion or have to compensate with other areas of the body. So my leg's glued to the floor. I'm gonna try to lift that leg off the ground, but that tissue is not gonna allow me to because that leg is stuck to the ground, so now it's just gonna pull me deeper. I don't wanna just fold down this way, but instead keep a nice tall chest, feel that tissue pulling me deeper. We can lower under a five count, so we'll be at three, two, one. Once I reach the bottom of my stretch here, I'm just gonna change directions. I'm gonna drive this down into the floor, so knee, shin, foot, crushes down, and now I'm pressing myself out of it, crushing down, using that leg to push me out under a five second count, and then I come back up to my start position. So again, the, the, the lowering is my regressive tissue pulling me deeper under a five count, you can do it for a three count, and then rails, or sorry, pails, is the progressive tissue pressing me out, driving up to the top of my position there. So it's using both ends of the joint, regressive tissue pulling me deeper, progressive tissue pressing me out. You can play around with different cadences. You can go for a two second in the beginning, go to a five second, or you can make it really brutal. Go for a 10 second lower, super slow, pulling yourself deeper. And then a progressive tissue pressing out as slow as you wanna go. And again, you can make it harder or more challenging, less challenging by having more hand support, moving to less hand support, and then moving your hands into a higher position. So that is a 90-90 hip external rotation kinetic stretch.